Oh. Oh, this was a bad idea. What was I thinking? <laughs> oh, my arm. Crazy Carl's at it again. If you guys have not already seen the dog channel, you can check it out right up here. Hit the subscribe button to the dog channel. All the videos are super short. So if you need a little entertainment of your day, dog channel. Ooh, what'd you find? Three more bucks. I have one of these. Oh. You don't want these though, right? No, I don't have something a little fancier. So these are for... These are the ones that we were looking at at Menards. Um, I bought some like that at Home Depot. Oh, okay. But they only had a couple of them. So we need one for each light. Yeah. See, so this is your main power coming in from all the main box. And then you have your regular wires going to the two breakers. So this is actually a box that came with a chicken coop. We bought this uh, 12 by 12 shed used. I think I paid like $500 for it, for the chicken coop. And we've had it for probably five years now, but it came fully wired. So it's actually got um, a light up there and plugs over there, plugs over there, switches. Um, but we don't have power run from the house to the coop unless it's by extension cord. So it's just not, I don't foresee us running power out here anytime soon. If anything, we'd probably do some sort of solar setup for the chickens, just a small Yeah, they got one. lights out here, I don't know. Yeah, I know. Alrighty. We should probably blow that out though. Yeah, I was thinking that too. See, so that, that one pipe will run in the bottom right here. Yeah. Hey guys, real quick, I want you to do me a favor. We've made some new channel friends. They're called Break Heart Orchard. There's a link right up here. There's also gonna be a link in the video description Go ahead and click on it and go check them out. They are actually doing a timber frame build all by themselves, similar to what we want to do coming up this summer. So we've actually teamed up with them and doing a little bit of a cross video collaboration. So eventually, um, as we get closer into scheduling our build, we're gonna do a little Q and A with them and really kind of drill them on things they wish they would have done things they want to do, um, all of that sort of stuff. But just go over, check out their build. They're a newer channel, so they really can appreciate and use your support. Thank you so much, guys. You see how it's really slow? What? You see how it's really slow? Yeah. Well, I can tell when you're... Oh my gosh, this is like hot and candy. I could tell when you were uh, hot in the in the cabin because the uh, power was dropping. A little tight. Oh, you just got it on the start. Maybe I should do all the middle ones and you can do the top ones. <laughs> the more top 
fired your Armagus, the more times you miss. <laughs> I think I'm always missing. That's, I was born not being able to put nails in. That's why I've always used screws. That's why it amazes me that Aaron can drive a nail in without blinking. the tall ones for me? I don't For every nice one I get, I get an awful one.
Okay, well, you get the idea. That actually went better than I thought it was gonna be. It was still pretty rough. It still slipped back and shifted more than I wanted, but um, overall, it doesn't look too bad as far as being straight. <sighs> so we've got one wall to go. We've got a half wall, a whole nother wall, and another half wall. <laughs> get it on camera but Aaron did this one he did this whole side by himself and I wish you guys could have seen it because he was such a trooper like I kept asking like I can get it in a little bit if you need help and he would not hear about it he's like nope I'm gonna do it and uh yeah he was missing kind of like me but he got it in he sank it right in and he did great so um actually he jumped over here before I could turn the camera on and sometimes you get it on video sometimes you don't so, um, I did this one over here, and this actually went in a lot easier than I thought. So, um, next I'm going to do this one. I'm going to give him a little bit of a break, because <laughs> the hammer is heavy for me and him. He actually has his own hammer, yeah, courtesy of a uh, Piper Freight. So, his dad bought him this this summer, and so this is his own, very own hammer. And uh, he was using this to hammer it in, so... Give me a little break. All right, do you want to do the next one or do you need a little bit more of a break? <laughs> more of a break? I can't handle it. You can't handle it? You did great. definitely point out my bad one right here this toenail when I was doing it on the floor to um, start it it was not happening it was not liking that wood for some reason and as you can see <laughs> it uh, was angled towards the back and there is no way I could get it I adjusted it a couple of times it's in there um, it's just a nailer board anyway but yeah so that's probably my worst one so far <laughs> And that one turned out good, that one turned out good. So I've got one, two, three, four, five more to go. It's definitely going faster today. When I toenail these boards, um, I pre-toenail them so that they just start to come off the edge. Um, so that way, it'll be less wax and less chance of misplacing it as I get it up there, ideally. So the nice thing about these uh, lap boards is that I can actually use them to line up the boards. 
which makes it a lot easier to make sure that you're on track. And so that way you also can find your stud a lot faster when you're putting your um, main boards up. So, we get all the nailers in. They're not all pretty, but they will suffice. Because again, these are nailers. They're not exactly meant to support the board as just give one more area to nail to. Hey, here's something you guys can help me with. You can help me figure out where I should put the lights. I'll show you the lights really quick. And then uh, you can tell me where you think they should go. I have been thinking my sofa's gonna go here. I have been thinking of having my double sconce right there. But, you know, when I'm thinking about it, you know, this is gonna be like another little study area. Um, this is gonna be right by the window. So it might be good to have a little desk right there and maybe a light right above it. I could always put a plug-in light too. I don't know, I don't know. And I have to figure this out before I can wire it. All right, so here's my double sconce. Um, you can see this is really cool looking. And uh, we didn't have any matches to that, so I'm gonna go ahead and yank that. And then these aren't gonna fit the style of the house at all. These are super cool. They're huge. <laughs> I mean, they're probably 24 inches long, but I've got two of these. And I don't know how to set up those three lights. And then these are my spotlights. These are gonna go on the ceiling um, to aim downward at my computer desk. Um, so if you need extra lights for shooting videos or whatever, I've got two lights right there. Um, so yeah, uh, put in the comments down below what wall you think these should go on because I'm trying to get that all figured out. It's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna be so excited to get all this put up. Alright, so a lot of you guys have expressed interest in getting something just like this and doing the exact same thing about turning this into an amazing little cabin retreat slash office or homeschool house. So, and because of that, you guys are wanting to know what the breakdown and cost is. So I will do my very best to keep you posted. At the end of this project, I will try to have every single cost to the best of my ability and I will try to keep you posted on cost as we go. So a lot of you guys asked how much this shed was in this particular shed at the time we purchased it was $5,300. <laughs> it should not include the price of the little doggies. <clears throat> All right, you guys have to either be out or in. So depending on if you have an Amish made or if you have a carpenter make it, um, depending on the design, there are a lot of variables that go into the price of one of these little cabins. Um, adding regular windows, adding regular doors, making them taller, wider, whatever you do can affect the price. So keep that in mind. So yesterday we went to Lowe's and Menards to collect the rest of the electrical supplies that we would need to get it ready to put the insulation spray foam in. Now, I'm just gonna say that I much prefer Lowe's and Home Depot over Menards. That's where we got all of this lumber. So the lumber, obviously lumber prices are skyrocketing right now. Um, here's where you're gonna save money, okay? So listen up. This is rough cut lumber right here. Rough cut lumber is in high demand right now and it's sold at a much lower price than say, box store lumber. This stuff is all cut to grade, it is all stamped. However, if you are doing a build like this, either from the ground up or retrofitting the inside, I highly, highly recommend finding someone with a sawmill. If you look on Facebook Marketplace and just type in lumber, you should pull up somebody somewhat in your area with very reasonably priced lumber to sell you. Um, in our points, um, I think there was a place in Nuego that sold um, 
rough cut two by four boards for like I think two or three dollars a piece. These are five seventy a piece, I think. I think or maybe it was six seventy. I don't know. I know that out the door when I checked out, it was ninety dollars for wood and some electrical boxes. So, um. Remember how I said that the inside needs a little bit more framing? $90 to fix the framing. So keep that in mind. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. I know this is gonna be a really cool build and I'm so excited to see it finished. So definitely follow along, hit that subscribe button if you have not already and hit that bell. So you can see this whole project unfold and see if this is something you might wanna try. Love you guys, take care, bye.